I'm Ryan from Prima, and this is a whole lot of hand grinders. Today, we're gonna to be taking a bird's eye view of Prima's entire premium hand grinder catalog and compare them in terms of overall functionality. This isn't gonna be a 40 minute video, so for deeper information for each model, I do recommend watching the individual product overviews found on our listings. So I've split these hand grinders up on the counter into three main categories. Those are espresso, filter, and multi-purpose. If you have some experience with hand grinders already, you might ask, aren't they all kind of multi-purpose capable? And the answer is yes. Most hand grinders are very versatile, but we do find that most hand grinders excel within a specific use case more than others. And that's really the whole point of this video, to help you narrow down an overwhelming number of choices into just a few. Before we get started, why should you consider buying a hand grinder instead of an electric grinder? There's a few reasons, including long-term reliability and portability, but the best reason to buy a hand grinder is for the value. An electric grinder at a similar price point really can't match the quality of grind and versatility offered in a hand grinder. So if you don't mind putting in the work, it's extremely rewarding. Let's get into it. First, let's start with espresso hand grinders. We chose these grinders because of their ability to grind extremely fine and their micro adjustment capabilities, allowing you to make tiny changes to the grind. If you brew espresso only at home, here are our top picks. The Kinu M47. We're gonna knock out three grinders in one on this one. This is the M47 Classic, the M47 Simplicity, and the M47 Phoenix. The difference between these three is not in performance. The difference is really the quality of materials used. In the Classic, we have the most metal used. It is the heaviest grinder overall. Also features a magnetic grounds catch. The Simplicity and the Phoenix use more and more plastic and thinner metal walls. Each of these grinders has a stepless grind adjustment, very simply adjusted with a thumb screw. And these are perfect for espresso. The 47 millimeter coated burr set really shines in that fine range, but it doesn't do too well for filter. So espresso only, this is one of our favorite picks. The Lido ET, unlike the Lido Basic, the Lido ET retains the Lido 3's dual locking ring adjustment. It features a folding handle instead of a fixed handle and the same 100 gram hopper. Inside is a 47 millimeter burr set, just like the Lido Basic for super fast grinding. The main identifying feature of this grinder is a finer thread pitch, which allows much more minute changes to grind size to be made than with the Lido Basic. The Easy Presso J Max. This is a Chinese made grinder, but the quality is definitely still there. The most unique feature is an external stepped adjustment that requires no disassembly to change grind settings. Each click of this adjustment equates to only 8.8 .8 microns in grind size change, making it the smallest stepped adjustment grinder available on the market. It also features a 48 millimeter titanium coated steel burr and a magnetic grounds catch for convenience. Next, let's talk about filter hand grinders. We chose these for filter only because of their lack of ability to grind quite fine enough for espresso or their lack of micro adjustability. Also, the burr sets in these just tend to really excel for filter methods in terms of extraction quality. First, the Time More C2 and the C2 Max. Overall, these two are the best value in Prima's entire catalog. This has a 38 millimeter steel burr. On the inside is plastic bracing where you'd normally find metal bracing, but these have the performance of grinders more than twice their price. The C2 has a capacity of around 25 grams and the Max is the same grinder, but with an increased capacity of around 30 grams. The Time More Nano. At just under five inches, this is an amazing travel grinder. It features a folding handle, a magnetically removable pommel. Inside is metal bracing and Time Wars 38 millimeter burr set found in the C2 and C2 Max for optimal filter grind quality. It also features an amazing textured grip so it doesn't slip around in your hand. The Lido Basic. 
This is an evolution of the Lido 3, but with a much simpler grind adjustment mechanism with a thumb screw. This grinder features a 100 gram capacity, larger than any of our hand grinders, which makes it perfect for say eight to 10 cup Chemexes or beyond. Inside is a 48 millimeter steel burr set for super fast grinding. It's constructed of Triton plastic and a stainless steel grounds catch. The Orphan Espresso Fixie, without a doubt the most unique hand grinder on the table. It's constructed of primarily carbon fiber, giving it a weight of about 0.7 pounds. Instead of a grind adjustment, it uses shims that are placed underneath the handle to raise or lower the cone burr, giving you about three usable grind settings. It also features a side loading hopper, which holds about 35 to 40 grams, and a big 47 millimeter steel burr for pretty quick grinding. This is the Orphan Espresso Apex Grinder, and this one is not for everyone. First and foremost, because it needs to be bolted down to a counter or something like a cutting board here because it is very difficult to crank. This has a 60 gram capacity and inside uses a 78-ish millimeter ghost tooth burr set, which produces a very unique and very uniform grind. Finally, let's take a look at multi-purpose hand grinders. These grinders combine the best of both worlds and are able to be used for both espresso and filter. The Commandante MK4, probably the best hand grinder on the table for filter coffee brewing. But it can also be used for espresso as well when the Red Clicks micro adjustment is installed, which halves the microns per click adjustment down to 15 microns from 30 microns. Inside is a proprietary 40 millimeter steel burr set, which provides excellent clarity. On the outside of the grinder is an interesting wood veneer, and this grinder holds about 35 to 40 grams capacity total. The Mazer Omega. This hand grinder can't be beat in terms of quality of materials. It's constructed of milled aluminum and a carbon fiber handle for a very modern look. It features a 42 gram capacity and a 47 millimeter conical steel burr set. This features a external stepped grind adjustment with about 33 microns grind size change per click, or about three to four seconds brew time change for espresso shots per click. But the coffee tastes just as good for filter coffee as it does for espresso, making this one of the most expensive, but the best multi-purpose hand grinders on the market. The Easy Presso K Pro. This grinder is made in China, but the quality is definitely there, like the J Max. It is similar to the J Max and the Mazer Omega in the sense that it has an external grind size adjustment with 22 microns of grind size change per click. Inside is a 48 millimeter burr with an aggressive cut for super fast grinding, which is also capable of grinding plenty fine enough for espresso. So if you're looking for a really high quality, sort of mid-range budget, multi-purpose grinder, the K-Pro is definitely it. The Nock Air Grind. This is the smallest, most compact of our multi-purpose grinders. Inside is a titanium nitride coated 38 millimeter burr set that grinds plenty fine enough for espresso, but also provides great clarity for filter coffee. Another great feature of this grinder is the stepless adjustment up top. It requires no disassembly, just hold the handle in place and turn the lid with your fingers. Lastly, and hence the name, this grinder fits inside of an AeroPress plunger for easy travel. The Knock Feldgrind. A lot like the air grind, but with a larger 35 to 40 gram capacity. Inside is the same 38 millimeter titanium coated burr set, which is great again for espresso and filter. What makes this grinder more unique is the stepless grind adjustment, which does require you to remove the handle, the lid, and then place the handle back on to hold the axle in place while you turn the stepless adjustment. So it has a beautiful kind of vintage watch look, but it is a little bit more complicated to change that adjustment than the air grind. The Time More Nano Plus and the Slim Plus. Now this is just like the Time More Nano we reviewed, but this features Time More's E and B burr set, which stands for Espresso and Brew. 
It's a specific geometry that grinds really well for espresso, plenty fine enough, but also provides really great clarity for filter on the coarse end. The Slim Plus has a 25-ish gram capacity, whereas the Nano Plus has a 15 to 18 gram capacity. Both still feature the folding handle. Last but not least, the Timemore G1 Plus. Like the Slim and Nano Plus, this features Timemore's E and B burr set, but it is coated in titanium. It makes it a bit sharper and also extends the lifespan a bit. Otherwise, the main differences here are aesthetics. So this has a green sort of anodized body, a wood pommel, and a wood grounds catch. It also features an interesting bearing style grounds catch instead of a gasket or a magnet. Thanks for sticking around for this hand grinder comparison. If you have more questions or you wanna compare models, email us at sales at primacoffee.com and we'll help you narrow down your choices even further. Happy grinding.